no, I don't need the sound on. I'm not going to sound off the less. Evening, everybody. Um, if you are around, um, pop in and say hello. I can see the chat. Um, you can't see the and you can't see the and you can Hi, Diana. Thank you. Uh, my, my little thoughts. Oh, you yeah, have to excuse the my real squeaky, noisy chair. It's great. It drives me batty on oh, this message every week. Just meant to excuse it. <laughs> So, oh, evening everybody. Hope oh, everybody's having a real good weekend. Um, I'm just going to get my two bits and pieces out of here, the ones I really need. I need my little bone folder. Oh, my chair. Please, Eileen. I think it might need a bit of oil just a tad <laughs> just a tad so i'll wait for everybody to start joining us um but i am gonna be making a card tonight um i had a little bit of inspiration off pinterest but that's where the inspiration came from I haven't seen, I'm going to show you um, a card I've actually made. I haven't seen a card that's made, I've seen similar cards made like this, but not an actual card that I've actually made like this. Um, the Miss Lovely Angie Paisy is watching. So I hand, um, she didn't want to come on with me tonight. She said, um, she, she wanted me to do it by myself. So I feel a bit... The only thing to be fair, because I usually got her here every Friday with me. So, this is the little booklet card that I'm going to make. I'm going to wait for a couple of people to come in. Um, but this card I actually made, was it last night I made? It might have made me, I might have made this last night. And the idea is, um, it's made out of, this is seven by five by seven by six a piece of card um <laughs> yeah she is watching diana I promise she is there um because i just spoke to her, she said i'll meet you over on youtube so she is there but she is not on with me in tonight um so the idea is you can make one of these using this or you can make it out of any type of um cards now you can either make up your own cards there she is you can either make up your own card or um you like using a piece of um card and then folding it or you know cutting it down that way or you can buy them in an envelope pre uh, made for you like this with some envelopes now i usually do that option only because and i put them away and i shouldn't have done that but I only do that because they come with the envelopes and it's a lot easier when you send them off. Hi, Amalu. Oh, bless you. I've really missed you, my darling. I was going to email you tonight. I haven't been sort of, um, I haven't emailed nobody and I know I've had a few emails. And so I do apologise if you've emailed me. And I was going to email you tonight because I've missed you and there's, a kit I saw the other day and um I really fancied it and I can't remember what it was called 
um, something hat, inspiration hat, inspired, oh, what was it called? Something hat, it was called. Malu, tell me now. Um, but yeah, I was really inspired. <laughs> Um, can I take you off monitor? Of course I can. You don't need to be on um you don't need to be on the whole live. Do you still want me to take you off? Hi Adorn, hi Julian. Um uh, Molly, you don't have to be on the whole live to be on monitor. I just got you continuously on. So every time you pop on your my monitor, I can take you off if you want me to, or I can leave you on. You don't have to watch every single live and you don't have to be here for the duration from beginning to end either. So totally up to you. Hi, Gillian. Hi, Dawn. See if I've missed anybody. I'm going to show you all what I'm going to be making tonight now. How's it Right, so I leave uh, Malu um, come back with a message to let me know whether she still wants me to take her off or not. I will. I, I will work out how to do it. Um, but like I say, when you're on a monitor for anybody's channel, you don't have to watch their duration of their life. Um, but I've left you on because um, I know that you really do a good job monitoring. Now, is the light okay? Because I didn't actually test my camera before I came on. No, I mean, I can't do one. That's fine. That's fine. I just leave you on for the time being. And that's fine. You don't have to monitor tonight. It's just, um, that's fine. I You just got a spanner next to your name. For <laughs> until, <laughs> well, you're a very dear friend of mine. So, um, that's completely fine, honestly. Angie is not with me. Well, she is and she isn't with me. She's on chat, so she'll be monitoring tonight. Um, and I will be picking another lady to monitor. So I was like two people to monitor. Her. Um, but thank you, Angie, for letting me know that the light is good. Um, but no, you can stay. You can stay on. It doesn't matter. You don't have to monitor tonight. You can watch for the duration. You can watch. So. While I'm, I'm waiting for everybody. Ah, you're making kits. That's what you're doing. Well, there's one kit I definitely want off you. I can't not remember what it's called. Something hat? Inspiration hat? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to have to watch the video again. Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's something hat. Inspired hat or... I can't remember. I really can't. I'm going to have to email you and let you know. <laughs> watch it yeah so i made this card last night uh, but before i make this card um let's have hi paula vintage ladies with hats yes that's exactly saying you you'd know <laughs> um jillian my darling i'm gonna make your monitor for tonight so you should have a spanner next to your, your, your name um i done it I so hope you would like to be a monitor on my channel. Um, so every time you come on, you love a spanner. I always like to have two people monitor in the chat. Um, or even if I do lives with Angie. And I know you watch every week. Um, yeah, and even if you can't watch, I always like to have some sort of monetization on my channel. So hi, Paula. Um, so I came up with this card. I've started the same thing just about three times. I do apologise. <laughs> I do apologise. Right. I saw some sort of inspiration on Pinterest. And I thought, hmm, how... You know when you see something and you think, oh, how can I put my own spin on it? Or how can I uh, add this to it? Or add that, take that away and add it to my own? You know what I'm trying to say? So I went onto Pinterest. And I saw something similar, but I wish I could show you. Actually, I think I might will show you. I'm going to get it up on my phone now and show you where my inspiration came from. I'm going to do that now before I open them up. I'll be watching you live, but just come on to tonight. Oh, my darling, that's okay. That's perfectly fine, honestly. Uh, unless I'm going to. 
feed them and I'm going to turn Ooh. right I've put my phone on the underneath the camera I'm hoping you'll be able to see it um so I'm going to show you where my inspiration came from because I think that's just as important as right it's glaring right okay I've turned the light off so there'll be no glare at the moment right and um, there is a bit of a lag as well that I really can't help so I do apologize but I've knocked the light off that's above my camera so hopefully that will be able to help uh, that way that be able to help so as you can see these are like uh, I can't remember the exact word from they're sort of like trifold uh, cards I'm trying to get it right where it doesn't glare there now it's not glaring <laughs> right um and they are beautiful cards and whoever makes these and puts them on Pinterest you are super 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 talented and I'm sure that if I went on to they're so hard because every time I move I'm going to keep it out as it is a minute because I want to see whether the glare goes away because I'm holding it a different way oh come on Claire hurry up with the black there Right, so I'm going to keep the phone there. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, lag, come on, lag. Um, I'm going to zoom you in as well. That'd be a nice, good idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's better. Now you can see. Woohoo! Get in. <laughs> so these are super, super talented, um, beautiful cards. They are all on Pinterest. And what I do when I'm trying to find inspiration, I do apologize for the glare. Um, what I do when I'm um trying to find the inspiration is I go on Pinterest first and then when I find something I really like and then I go onto YouTube to see how somebody's done it but with these I didn't do that um I sort of looked at the photos and as you can see as you open the cards up the cards open a different way oh Paula stay safe my darling I really hope that the storms aren't with you for very long uh please stay safe and don't worry about uh, coming on the live. I know that if they weren't there, you'd be here with us. So we are thinking of you. And please stay safe in the storms. Um, so I'm going to flicker and you'll see like the different style of them. Now, each card is folded a different way so that when you open it, you see it a different way. Um, like this one has almost got like flowers on one side and but it's just the way it gets folded um hi Ari. hi Rianne. i've got your Rianne, since you've come on my darling um i've got your goodies i'm i've been a bit slow with cards i've been a bit slow with everything this week cards um um goodies giveaways i've been really slow so please stick with me um Rianne Angie has posted the goodies from her side and I've started to collect a few bits from my side I'm just making you the odd little bits and pieces I want to give to you but um the minute I have my little package I'll drop it off to you I'll personally deliver it <laughs> so as you can see they're just different um it's the way the cards get folded that gives it the look okay um, and you can have some beautiful cards. Now, I don't know what they're called, but the card that I've made, I'm, I've called it a booklet card because I've actually made it into a booklet. Um, and you, I've actually put a tie on mine. I'm actually going to show you how it's done. 
that's something else I really want to try. Um, but yeah, you get it just of the idea. So I'm gonna zoom you back out because I'll need to zoom you back out. Yes, Angie, yeah, uh, Angie, bless her little heart. She has posted your goodies. They are in my house, but it's me that's being really slow. So please bear with me. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Um, this is the one I made last night. Now, I like to blend fabrics and papers and that kind of things. Let me knock the light on. Um, hi, Jacqueline. Um, so, got a bit of bling on each side. I've used my paper and my lace. And then as I open it out, that's what it opens out as. But can you see how it's folded? So, it folds like that first. And I'm going to show you how I've done this page using the paper and the lace and how it's sort of peekering around the corners which i absolutely love and then i've used images and all sorts and then when you fold it like that you've got these two images and then when you open it out now you don't have to fill each of these sections up with anything you don't have to fill them up full of um um what they call it ephemera you don't have to I didn't with mine. I only I I put as much as I want to on them. So with this one, I only put like a little image, but I've raised it up. But I'm gonna show you how I've done that. Um, and then like this side is the side you write on. So there is a front and a back to making these cards. Um, like I said, I made mine last night, and then I've tied it. It does tie perfectly on the side. And it goes into a normal envelope. So it ties like that and it goes into a normal envelope and it can be posted normally. So this is what we're going to be making tonight. So I have been busy actually making my cards. So we need my... Wherever I put it. Oh, God, it has to be at the back. Okay. So you need your scoring board and your score up. Okay, first things first, move some stuff on my way so I can extend the score board. That's gorgeous, Claire. I'm still watching while working on my kids. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Marlu. Thank you, Rian. Very pretty. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Deanna. Okay, so this is what did I say? Eight. Oh God, I've forgotten what I said now. Eight by six. It's an eight by six standard card. I usually buy my cards from the works. Like I say, they come with the envelopes. So the first thing you need to do is fold your card. Right, so if I go this way first, I'll show you. So fold one side of your card into the middle okay and then this side gets folded in and the reason i've got the score is you'll see in a second the reason why So you should have, when you fold it like that, you should have like four piece, um, four piece card. So ignore this bit, this this section. So if it helps, I'm gonna write what's front, and what's back, and what each section is. If it helps when you're doing this the first time. So this is section one, and this is your front. This is still section one, so we're gonna call this one A. This is section two. It'll help if you're doing this the first time to write on it so you don't um, so you don't get lost. Section three. And then section four, which is the back section. And yes, I do have Teddy as my background noise, as every week I do. So you should have four sec well, four sections. 
one be in the front, one A, two, three, and four. So what we're going to do is work on two and three. But to work on these two pieces, we need to make, if I open this up, we need to make this section um, a split in this section. And the way we do that to work on these pieces above is this. So take your scoring board away, which you won't need it for just for the, this moment. I'm going to take a ruler. And all I'm going to do is I am going to measure... I'm going to measure two and a half from the bottom and I'm going to go up with my ruler and mark dead in the center of section two and three. Okay, then come over and measure in the middle of section one A to two, two and a half. And do the same between three and four. Two and a half there. Now, what you're going to do now is... Is you're going to draw a nice line going from one section to the next. But you don't draw it all the way across. You go from this first score line to the last score line in the inside of your card right now I like to make my section here a little bit thicker so that when it's opening and closing it's not going to catch you do it too thin what's going to end up happening is going to catch the top and it'll almost have a rubbing effect so to make it a little bit thicker than you would normally just go under it and I'm not even going to measure it. You'll you'll understand what I'm doing when I go under it. So it's two and a half from top to bottom, and then I go under it by about that much. So it's not even it's it's not even huge, and it's not gigantic. So I'm going to zoom you in. Zoom you in. It wouldn't be the same without Teddy in the background snoring. Bless him. It definitely wouldn't. Oh my gosh. Lighting's really bad in this room. Ah, you can see. You can see the little sections. Right. So, I'm going to get my ruler now. Now I've zoomed in. I have a stereo. My little Daisy snoring too. Ha ha. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Right. And he's nowhere near me. I... I'd be um, really cautious if, if he was, but he's nowhere near me at all. So I'm going to get my little, um, this is like a finger blade, finger blade, what they call them, a uh, crafting knife, finger crafting knife. And I got this from the range and it's really, really handy because you can put your finger through and you can get a, a really good grip on the actual blade itself. So I am going to, on the first line I made, I'm going to go right down the centre. I'm going to turn my card and I'm going to go on the other line. These lines should be straight, and it doesn't matter if they're not because it's a handmade card, so nothing's ever perfect. As I told one of my friends this week, she said, I haven't cut it straight. I said, You don't need to panic about cutting it straight, nothing's ever perfect. Okay, then with your little you need to make your little line now that one has not cut for some reason ok 
there. Can you see how I've got like a lacquer box of that? I'm going to do the same on this card, this side, sorry. And I'm going to do the same That's that side. So I have my little letterbox effect. Now it's not perfect. It, it should be. It should be. It should have those nice clean cut corners, and I haven't. Like I said, the, pin, the idea, well, the, in, the inspiration came from Pinterest, um, but I haven't looked up on how they did theirs. I just did my own. Okay. Right, and that's all you need for your crafting knife. I'm going to put my crafting knife away. Mine is always wonky, oh bless. I wouldn't be... I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, they are finger crafting knives, and you can get them from the range, and I believe you can get them online. But they're really, really good, um, especially if doing things like this, because you can get a really good grip on them. So, like I said, just said to you, we're concentrating on section two and three. Now, this is the tricky bit. We don't want to be bending this bit at the bottom, because this bit is already... This section here is perfect. We don't want to be making any score lines in this section. However, we need to make two score lines at the top. And the way we're going to do that is by bringing our scoring board over. And we're going to find the middle. Oh, God, you know, the easiest way to do this because I never find the middle of my scoring board. So half of two is one half. So half would be approximately around there, you would see. No. Let me do that again. One, 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 one. No, it's there. It's there. Right, and I'm going to do... I just find it easier this way. So... So I've made two little lines at the top. So bring it over to your scoring board. Don't go on this bottom part, we're only concentrating on the top. And all we're going to do, I don't know whether I'll light a bit bright. All we're going to do is make a scoring line at the top. So we have... So we have that at the moment, okay? And we're going to do the same on this side. Okay, so I'm going to take my score out and my score all the way. And we've now got our card. Now, it doesn't matter if it's... Um, this one's coming out on the side a little bit more than I'd like it to. But that's the way I folded it right at the, the beginning. I might be able to collect it by moving this score line a bit over. I might, I don't know. We'll see. That's about it. So there's our card. Now you can decorate these any way, any shape you want. But just remember where you've put your sections. Now, as you notice, our sections have moved. So our two is not there anymore, it's here. 
So this is where you need your rubber. And our section three is moved. It's not our section three has moved because we're gonna do section two year. Oh yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? Three year, four's there, five's there, six is now the back. Oh, oh six. No, five, six, sorry. Seven, eight is now the back. And I'm numbering them to make it easier for when I'm talking about what section I'm doing. Um, when you're making yours, you don't have to number it. It's just easier when you make it the first time. And you think, oh, what section do I have to do? So, you should have a card that looks exactly like that now with those score lines up the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some ink. And I'm actually going to ink the edges of... Um, where's my uh, oh, 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 So I'm going to get a piece of card. I should have had a piece. Looking around for a piece of card. Oh. Okay. Right. All I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my piece of card. I'm going to grab the, because I want a little bit of colour on this. Too much, but I do want a little bit of colour. I just think I need a piece of, a piece of card. I mean, this is a new mat, so I think I'm going to be taking one of the same. Oh, what can we have with this? Right, I'm going to move right out the way. I was frightened of getting on my new mat. I go for it now. We definitely want to see the corners. I um, definitely want to see the edges with these, this ink. And I'm going to fold it in half. So, same section I'm working on. I'm actually going to corner my, you don't have to do this, I just find with a corner punch, there's gentle little there, edges down quite nice. Now on the inside, I think the longest bit of this card is putting the paper on because you've got eight eight pieces of paper, but there is a little knack and tricks I can show you that would save a little bit of time. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold the first piece. It does get in the way a little bit. really softly with the edges on that one and I'm going to do third piece I 
again really softly. I took a phone call. Oh, bless. Can I borrow your razor clap, please? <laughs> That's why I said number them. <laughs> Angie's actually making the same card as me tonight. Um, so it's, it's funny. He never heard the dog snore as loud as Teddy. Well, trust me, he, he's loud on videos. But um, he's even louder when you are trying to watch something on TV. I've um, I watch something on TV and I'm finding myself turning the volume up and up and up and up and up because he snores so loud. So I'm gonna fold that in half again. And as you notice, the in the inside, the I'm gonna call these the longer pages of the card. I'm not putting load of ink on i'm just gently put in oh just gently put in what i consider to be um just gentle strokes of the card now these pieces down the bottom are the same I'm going to fold it that way. And I'm going to put my card up there. It just saves the ink going on to my brand new mat that my uh, one of my friends bought me this week. So, Amanda, if you're watching, thank you very much for my new pink mat. I'm going to turn it. Um, because I want to do the top, it gets a little bit tricky, like I say, when you're inking it. Right, so all my pages should be in now. The last page, take this piece of card again. I'm gonna go around this in brown as well, Rosie. <laughs> And I'm going to soften the edges because I did the front. There. Right, let's move out of the way. We should have our uh, all our egg edges softened. That's what it should look like as at the moment. So because this card, I'm going to do a little bit brown. I'm not going to go around the whole edges of my brown. But I would suggest on a card like this, you do two lots of different colours. Only because it's um, the card's more of a booklet card. So if you do one colour, it can you not you may not be able to find your know, the one color you've put on so it's just best even if it's on the corners and on the edges in some places like i'm not going to go around all the edges but even if it's just on the corners and edges of some places that you're going to put the card just a suggestion of putting two lots of inks um because one will won't cover the card um and it won't show because of the type of card it is i'm going to fold that Rosie. that's my dog grace can you go and put pajamas on her can you go and put pajamas on her she? she's done beside me where's he come from she's cold Right, so she's molding that. She wants her jammers on. Right, so I have that at the moment. Oh, I need to do the front. Okay, that 
Okay, me. Just gonna go on the edges of your. Done. Inks are done. Right. That's what you should have at the moment. Chris, can you put Rosie's pajamas on? I please it on my chest. She's cold. She is. That's why she's whining. Upside down. Does it look like that, and by any chance? Because if it does, turn it the other way. And Chris, get her jams for. Let me put them on her. If it's like that, Ange, um, and you think, oh, I haven't got the long pieces at the top, turn it the, or turn it right around, clockwise, and you'll have to. Um, I'm guessing you haven't, you haven't got one piece, because when you look at it from the front, you should have one piece that's completely plain, which is the back of your card. That's why I said, that's why I was marking it. This is your back of your card. So this doesn't require any ink. But if you've done it upside down that way, I'm guessing this would have been inked. So what I'd suggest is turn it right around and ink this. So you'll just have a back and a front ink, that's all. Um, but you should be fine. If it's upside down, do that. Like you'll have two pieces inked then. She'll be fine. I know she will. Right, I'm going to put these things to one side because we won't need them. Oh, my chair again. Right, and I'm going to pick my pig buds. So, I've got some of these. I bought this um, rustic atmosphere, it's called. And it's from the works, and it was £3. And it's got some of these beautiful like real wood type I'm looking for yeah that would be quite pretty because I'm gonna work with but I want it lighter than that let's see what I got a minute that is perfect oh I don't know I did that one yeah, that'd be perfect. So then I can go right on top. Yeah, that's perfect. I can go right on top. Because my card, I'm going to be doing blues, um, blues, pinks, that kind of thing. <laughs> you might have to bodge it. Oh, bless you, Ange. Right, so... I bet if you turned it the other way, you'd be fine. And you'll, if I remember right, you were doing um, a seven. Your card size is different. Angie told me her card size is different. She said hers is eight by five, I think, I believe. I can't remember. But she did say her card size is different. So all I'm going to do, as I've inked all the edges, um, I'm using this paper, like I say, it was paper from the set called Rust Rustic Atmosphere, and it's got beautiful papers in. I'm really tempted to use that one now. Oh, it shouldn't have gone back in my book. Let me see. Mm, yeah, I should have gone back in my book, really, should I? <laughs> That'll teach me. We'll have a look. Then. So, <laughs> oh, correct. Right, so you need, you need at least three different kinds of paper for this card. You need a background paper. You need, um... You need a background paper, you need Chris. Can you uh, do me a favor? 
you need a background paper, you need a paper on top, and um, Chris is going to go and put her jammers on. That's why she's whining. Fudgy Sanchi, it'll probably be okay. Discovering new technique. Oh, definitely, Jacqueline. Definitely. Um, most definitely. I know she'll come up with something beautiful. My dog was putting me off what I was saying. Um, what was I saying? You need three pieces of paper. So you need your background piece of paper. So on this one, I've gone gold, like a uh, like a metallic gold. You need your card on top, and then you need like um a picture of some kind on top of that. So I would say three. Um, if you're going with two, then I'll show you a different way of making your card. A you know, making a card a different way. So I'm going to use this one. Um, because it's white and I might have to go about my numbers so I'm going to leave a border all the way around I marked it at the top and down the bottom Um, I'm going to go across because I need this piece um, at least four times. I took my doggy's jammies off her earlier because I thought she'd be warm for my mum making jammies for her. So that's what she was moaning. She wanted a jammies put back on. Which I don't mind, but I'm on a live, like. <laughs> oh, God. Right. So that is nowhere near straight. So I'm going to straighten my piece up. Okay, so my piece will fit snug like that. You need um if you're using the same paper now i'm using background paper this will be my background paper so i need four of these one for the front one two for the inside and do i want to put one on the back no i'm not going to put one on the back because otherwise i'd have to do the whole back no i'm not going to put one on the back no just do three. I won't complicate it. I'm going to do three. So. Um, that's not it. So I'm using my first piece as my template. One, two. Three. So you've now got three pieces. Don't ink these because you've inked your card. Or you can do, but I'm not going to ink mine. They will, however one of these edges off oh, right, let me empty this Two. 
things too. Um, they do the same for this piece. Now, you can either use double sided tape or some glue. So, what I'm going to do is because my hands are still quite sore and I find it a little bit easier with some glue than I do trying to get the tape off. But you can use either glue or double sided, it doesn't really matter. And you want to make sure if you're gluing that these edges are really glued down nice and well. Now you could ruffle your edges up with um, like a, they call them, I was going to call it a paper ruffler, but that's not what it's called. What are they called? Um, oh, I've got an A. Oh, I'll show you what I mean now. I can't remember what it's called offhand, but it roughs, roughs the edges up. You can do it with a pair of scissors. You can do it with um, a file as well. An embroidery board. In embroidery board. In. God, my words are terrible. Oh. In. Right. In embroidery. No, it's not embroidery. Oh, my word. Paper distresser. Thank you, Ange. So, just. I'm just going to. Okay, so I'm going to put that on my scraps of glue. And I'm going to take these now. I will need my rubber, so I need to rub them in embryo board. Thank you, Deanna. <laughs> God, you ladies know me so well. I'm going to rub one A out on the inside, and I'm going to put this on there. Embry book. I'm probably saying that wrong. You know what I mean. <laughs> right, so there's one there. Um, the front of the card. I'm gonna really, I have to rub numbers out. I do apologize. Oh, we'll come back to the front of the card because there's something I want to do to the front of the card. So I'm gonna do the I'm going to confuse you all. I'm working on the inside um, at the minute. So I'm doing the last page, the page that you would write on if you're going to give this card to somebody. Okay. Right. Now, the reason I didn't... So there's your two pieces for your inside. Close your booklet. I'm going to use a little pin for this because you'll need something just to pin it while you do the next step. I love this little stationery kit. All in pink, of course. Of course. Embry board. I'm still saying it wrong. Right, I'm going to paper clip it there. And I'm going to grab. Now, let me see what even we have. Um, that would be quite nice. No, it's not working actually. Right, so. Take my glue again, and I'm just going to run it in the centre. You run it on the edge, what tends to happen is, I found that out doing that one, is when you are undoing it and doing it back up and then doing it back up and you put it right on the edge, it'll come off. Um, it will come off because it's, um, it's paper. So if you stick it dead in the centre, and I like I say, this is the front of the card I'm doing now. I'm going to move that paper clip in a second. Oh, 
I might have I might have to do the back one. He thinks. I was hoping so, but I would have had to, I think I would have had to do the back one. On this one I didn't. But afterwards I thought about it and I thought, oh, is it gonna get tugged? I might use a little after key on the back instead of um as a card. So I'm going to close my book and I'm going to cut it about here. Okay, and then if I close my book again, I'm working on the back now. A few paper clippings, so you'll know exactly where that ribbon is stopping. And I'm going to pop a little bit of blue, just like so. And I'm going to take, now I'm going to take um, an applique of some sort. Now there should be a small one in my jar of sorts. Um, let me have a look. There's that one I can use. Oh, maybe that one. Ah, there we are. Both perfect. This is the back of the card. Take your paper clip off, and you now have your cards now looking like a card, okay? So we're going to concentrate on the inside now. Now, I have taken some of the numbers off. I do apologize, Ange. <laughs> I know she's following me. Right, so I'm going to move some stuff out of my way because I need it. I need this exact paper to do the inside. So again with my pencil, wherever my pencil is, I'm going to leave a border up there and about there. And I'm going to draw a line and I need four of the exact same piece. So let me cut this one up. Because I cornered the papers as I've gone along, um, I'm going to corner these pieces going inside as well. So in card, oh gosh, card back over. And if that fits perfect, which it does, I'm now going to take my card and I'm going to cut another three pieces of this. Like I say, this is going to be my background card. One, two, three, because we've got four of those nice chunky pieces. One, two, three, So again, these I'm not inking any of these edges because I've inked the card. Um, my personal opinion, if I ink the edges on this, it's going to um, be a bit too much ink. But go with what you decide, what you want to do. Um, I mean, your creation is your creation, so no one can ever... We all have ideas from everybody, but no, I don't know where the comments have gone. No, I wonder why you were all quiet. Got to make coffee, be right back. Oh, bless. I use scissors blade for paper distressing, and I need to get a distresser too. All oh, right, okay, Jacqueline. I know you've gone for coffee, but you can buy um, 
you can buy distressing tools. I'm going to get mine out and show you now in a second. But you can actually buy them from the range. You can buy them online. And the other thing you can do. Now, I Angie bought mine for, I think it was Christmas or my birthday. I can't remember now because they're so close together. I did forget. Um, but I was like, oh, my God, panicking. I've lost it, lost it, lost it. So I went on to line. And, you know, an embroidery... Cut, uh, not an embroidery cutter um it's a it's a oh, i didn't know where mine is to show you where would mine be oh i know what it is i know i got excited then um Uh -huh. right so basically you can use one of these and what this is my nan bought me this ages ago um it cuts um cotton and um you can pick these up it actually cuts cotton so i'll show you say i wanted say i was doing um embroidery work or like cross stitch all i'd need to do is just Put it across and it actually cuts it and it does the same to paper so let me check i haven't got like let me do the same so take a bit of scrap paper it gives you the exact same effect see how it gives you the exact same effect i'm going to do one side on on this and then i'm going to find well, no, i'm not going to find you know what it is the actual distressing tool Angie bought me for you to see the difference. But that is um, a thread to actually cut um, thread. And it does the same job. So what Angie got me is... Here. This is the one Angie got me. Right, so as you can see, or you will see now in a second, it does the exact same job. You wouldn't think that's two different tools. Yeah, yeah, there you say, thread and yarn cutter. It's exactly the same thing. So any one of those things does exactly the same thing. The other thing you could use is an embroidery thread. But I found that out by pure accident. I honestly thought I'd lost this. Angie had bought it for me for Christmas because I said, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Hi, I'm a, hi Christine. Um, hi, Dee Dee. And I haven't got one and I lost it. And I thought, oh, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. How do I say I've lost it to her? And I went online and I was trying to find the exact same one because I was going to buy one and say, oh, and this is yours because I felt so bad I didn't want to really tell her that I'd lost it but lucky enough I'd found it so anyway um online it says you can use a yarn threader and it does the exact same thing so have a look around I mean if you really want to go out and buy one you can but you don't have to that's what I'm trying to say to you Now, remind me, um, is it Christine or Christina? I've said Christine and then my mind entered, is it? Oh, have I said it wrong? Say Christina. <sighs> There's that one. Oops. There's this one. And then I'm going to show you how to cut the bottom as well. Now, because I want a bit of... Um, I'm using the paper that's got the leaves on. I want to cut the number off as well. And cut the number off, rub the number off more like. Right, so we'll have... At the moment, you'll have something that looks a bit like that. So you've got your front, you open it, you've got all these light little pieces that go in and out, you've got your back, and then you've also stuck your ribbon on the back as well.
Hi, KKNTM. You can use a mail slider opener too. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. So, um, yeah, I didn't know you could use one of them. So for the bottom, I'm I'm using the same paper, but as you can see, there's some leaves. And because I really want to use those leaves at the bottom, I think they're so cute. I'm actually going to use them. Again, make my markings. Use my ruler. And I'm going to mark it this way as well. Oh gosh. Um, no, I think I've done too long over there. Right, let me get my the card. Yeah, I've done too long. I actually got a mark there. Oh, you donut collect. No, that's still not straight. Hey, that's better. Right, I'm just gonna go back to my card to make sure that fits perfectly. So Take your paper that you're using and use it as a template again. I'm going to go right in the corner, I think. It's more safer. edges you can see the chat's moving so I will read the comments in a sec now can I start hi San hi Sandra oh my goodness hello to each of you and thanks for welcoming and hellos oh my word yes we are definitely a friendly group of crafty ladies Dee Dee definitely welcome to my channel Sandra um, it's nice to meet you. Um, please, everybody, let me know where you're watching me from and what time. Because I'm always keen to know where you're watching, what time it is, um, and where in the world you're watching me from. Because I would really love to know that. I'm going to rub that number six out. And I'm going to post that one there, I think. Right, so that's all my background paper done now. Woohoo! You can see it's beginning to get sort of a card. Thank you. It's 12 11 in San Diego, California. Oh my word. Oklahoma, USA, 4.15 p.m. here. Wow. <laughs> five minutes down the road. Yeah, you're definitely five minutes down the road, Ree. <laughs> oh, God, that's giggles. Five minutes down the road. And be known to me and... Um... <laughs> You're so busy, giggle. Five minutes down the road. Right. I'm getting my little journal pack out. I like what you're making. What is it called? Well, I am... Um, I'm calling it a booklet card um, because it is a booklet, basically. Um, this is the one I made up. I had some inspiration off YouTube but never actually seen a card as of like this and um, i've seen cards where it's different and right at the very start of the live i show, showed everybody where my inspiration came from but i've never seen a card like a booklet like i've made it so this was the one i made yesterday 
and it opens like this and you would write your message there so we've just put all our background paper on and um yeah that's as far as we've got and that's what we're making and that this is as far as we've got on here okay so i'm gonna paper clip this moment i'm not we're gonna work on the inside page because i want to and i'm gonna get some music now and i might get some like real pale pieces of paper out um and i'm gonna try and get some blues out as well because i've got the blue let me see vintage dreams uh, get that one out oh and that one she's going to use my phone there they are okay so all i'm going to do is concentrate on this little page here and i'm just going to tear up to begin with the music notes and with it i would need the ink need some more I think I need some more some of this paper as well as sleeping bag on the floor not on my best couch we answered oh wow want to move from place to base angie will be next i would love his spare room but my kids have a habit of coming back home oh bless Oh wow, well like I say Rian, you're very welcome to come over tomorrow any time, we didn't even live, we didn't even know we lived down the road did we, to be fair, until we did that giveaway the other week, and I'm just ripping some bits and pieces up, I've got some music notes, I've got some blue paper, some cream paper, uh, and some Papers with that should be plenty for what I want. Now I'm gonna get some scraps. Oh! I have got my table on my table is like so full. Right, so all I'm gonna do to start this off, I'm gonna Just gonna start this off. Put some um, lace up. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my glue. And I'm just going to glue on top. Uh, 
Yeah, there we are. Started because I was going to live with with you with you a year, clap. I started because I was going to come and live with you for a year. Everybody's going to come and live with me for a year. You're all invited. <laughs> You're all invited to come over. Of course you are. I think somebody once said to me, um, if they ever come and um, came over, they would never leave because. I seem to have, well, as I got told, this is not me blowing my own trumpet, but somebody once told me that um, you've got all my stuff in your, in your because I, I was showing um, my room. I have to show it on YouTube. I don't think I've ever showed it on YouTube, or have I? I can't remember that I have. Um, and somebody said, you've got so much nice things that I would never want to leave but you can come and live with me, Deanna. I'll pull you up the sofa. Well, I'll make you a bed in my craft room. <laughs> Hi, Deanna. I am Debbie. Sorry, you just had too much fun. Oh, can you imagine it? The neighbors would know what was hitting them. They'd be like, "What's going on?" I don't know. They they saw me on YouTube and they have you all like, out the house like like paparazzi taking pictures. <laughs> Can you imagine that? My neighbours would like be what what in the world is going on, Colette? Um, well, my dress got leaked, <laughs> and everybody now knows where I live. <laughs> So all I'm doing is I'm layering some fabrics up with papers to make this uh, page up, as you can see. Can you imagine? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know how it got leaked, but it got leaked. <laughs> Chris be running away. He'd definitely be running away. Like, what's going on, Clat? How did you invite all these people around? Um, well, I said that they could come around on YouTube. <laughs> be having an heart attack right I'm just layering because I want to put I want to make something of this page um, and I always love to like make sure the both and anything I do as you all guys know I love my fabric and I love paper I think paper and fabric have to be my must I'll put that piece there. Put this piece here. I'm gonna stick this piece down because it's poking up too much. There, perfect. And just to top it all off. And put a piece there. And I know it doesn't look like anything much now, but I promise it does. It will come together in a second. So I don't need the scraps anymore. I say scraps. Look what I've done. I put a whole roll of this yellow 
I might actually use that actually. Remove all this. Okay. Right, so the next piece is to find yourself a a vocal point. Now, what I'm gonna do and what I did with the other one, I'm will you I'm not gonna use these on my card now, but I will don't throw any pieces like this away because you can always use them um in, in any of your crafting so don't ever throw like little pieces like that away i always keep them because i think oh they come in handy for this or they come in handy for that now i'm not going to do anything to these pieces down the bottom and because i like the wood effects i'm gonna make a vocal point of the tops but i'm gonna do it in a different way so leave this as is this is my page i am writing on this has already got something to it, but I will add something to that. I'm going to turn my car completely around and concentrate on the front. Now, with the front, I want a piece. I want, this is why I said you might need three pieces, two or one, depending on what type of, what way you're going with it. Now, I do have this. But I think I want to do a blue because I've used blue. No, I'm going to do a blue. Let's do a blue. <laughs> I'm top of myself. Do a blue. Do a blue cut. Um, green. Peach. No. It's the only blue one I have. Let me see if it's in the other book. Where's the other book? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's pretty. And that one's pretty. You can see where I'm going with this blue theme. Oh, I do like that one. Maybe that the way would that go? Yeah, that would go. No, I like this one. I like that one better. That one better. Um, but what I will do, because I know what I'm going to do, I have next to me, just like the top I've used, I have next to me, like um, it's called Driftwood. And this came from the works, yes, to film Pr Princess Claire and her, and oh, out. I wish I was a princess, Dee Dee. Pat Brass here crying, laughing. Can you imagine? Mm. I'd be on the news and everything. <laughs> right, I'm going to put that there and I'm going to try and place that on top. Yeah, that goes perfect. Can you see where, what I'm doing? So, and then I've got um, something called Vintage Lace. Now, in this book, there's like loads of different images, tons. So I'm going to get that out soon. But for this front piece, I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm just going to put it down. So I'm going to raise that piece. And then on my, I actually might overlap them. So it becomes there. Show you what I mean by wrapping. You'll never want to leave if you come to mine. Nobody ever does actually. They always say how, how nice of a room I got. They always say that. Right, I'm going to overlap it. So I'm going to put that one there, that one there, and then I'm going to make a piece of it. So I've still got my pink in there because I can't stand nothing around my pink. Right, so let's make it um, stand out. Now I've got 3D or 2, 2D or 3D. I'm just checking in my little box underneath. Okay, give me my 2D. This is 3D. 
Okay, so there's a difference between 2D, see it? I don't know whether you could see on film. So there's the 2D, and that is 3D. Can you see how thick and thin they both are? So I'm going to use the 2D for underneath. Put this in the box. And it's proper sticky, I will admit. And I didn't corner the edges. No, I'm gonna leave them, I'm gonna leave them straight. Tough, I'm gonna leave them straight. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Okay, so unpeel these. Okay. And I'm going to go just here. And then on this one, I'm going to make a little bit of 3D. So put the 2D away. I want to stand out. And did you know there was such a thing as 4D? 4D foaming tape. I didn't even know. I must have a lag. Seems I'm behind in the chat, but time posts look okay. Oh, fab. Jacqueline. Yeah, it did it to me earlier. Looks like it may be hunky dory. What the, the woodland paper? I'll tell you now where the, pa the papers have come from. Hi, Carla. I'll tell you what companies they are in a sec. I'm gonna put that one just like so there. So um this this one is the wood one and it's called Driftwood and it's the works. It doesn't tell me it was 24 sheets of 12 designs and it was 200 GSM, but it doesn't tell me oh yeah, M and C okay. Is that the make? I don't know, but that's what's up the top. But that one was from the works. And then the one I've just used is called Cardboard Patterns. And these 16 sheets, you had all those different types of paper. Two of eight designs with glitter. And it was 150 deco time. Yeah, deco time. Doesn't say hunky dory. And then the one underneath was the big, huge pad. Was this pad. And that pad was. This one, and it was called Rust Rustic Atmosphere Mix and Match. And again, that was the works. And that batch number was 78031. But it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me whether it was Ankidori or not. But usually I tell you guys, so I'm glad it's, um, what was it that reminded me? Right, so. I've got my card now. Now I'm going to pin it just by here to keep it straight. And I'm also going to tie it. Well, no, I'm not going to tie it. I'm going to concentrate on the front. Now I've got some of this uh, vintage lace. Now this is hunky dory. I think this is what you meant. Um, and you get loads of different images. Now because I've gone with like blues and I have got a bit of pink in, I'm going to try and stick with a blue pack. I do like this slide. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. But when I fussy cut images like this out, I don't tend to. Now, used on the one I made previous, I used that image there. See how I used there? So, different image. Let me have a look what we got. Um, too big. Let me see. If I can't decide, you'll end up deciding for me. Struggle. I might do some of this in the inside. Those flowers on the inside. Mm. I 
want to pull out some sheets and you tell me where I want to you're gonna help me decide okay Mm. I do like that one, so I might use that one. And that one. And then the rest are not quite what I'm feeling. No. Right, so the designs I have are this one, this one, and this one. This one I'm going to use in the inside, so I'm definitely going to be using this one, but I'm going to see what I mean by this. I'll show you what an example. I don't go right to the flower and fussy cut in these type of images. I tend to go so in and out. I'm going to number them maybe and see in a second but i just want to show you what i've got in mind to put inside the inside of the card because this is on the edge and i don't want to see that straight edge i'm going to do that one these two and I could make up bunches so a b or c which one would you like me to put in the inside of the card there's the card and I'm going to be using these on the inside um so what one would you say or should I use this one on the front so if we go a b and c or if you want me to use this one on the front I don't know how I would use that on the front. No, I'm not going to use that one on the front. A, B, or C. And I'm going to sort of split that one up. The teacup of the bird and the butterfly. Somebody says that A. Jacqueline says A. Anybody else? Any more offers? I'm going to get my double-sided tape up. So I'll need it for the next little bit. I think I'll put the 3D tape back. Uh, the teacup, everybody's saying teacup, teacup, teacup. Julian says teacup. Uh, Jacqueline says teacup. Okay, so I've got them too. I put some 2D foam tape on the back of that. So I'll use that one. Uh, B, teacup, so I had teacup, the bird, the butterfly, so everybody say in the blue one. Right, so the teacup could it's, and these are hunky-dory, but you get, I don't know how many, these, how many ones you get, doesn't tell me, but it says the little book of vintage lace, but the project code is LBK125, but it doesn't tell me how many I get, and I love the images, but you can see how thick the book is, and it was thicker than that, it's just because I've been using them. Okay. So the teacup with a bird. Don't worry, I will cut the butterfly out. And I don't know whether you can notice, but I'm leaving a little bit of a gap as I'm cutting. Not going right up close to the edge. There. 
I'm going to move them out of the way so I will come back to those butterflies in a second. Bring my card back over. And I'm going to place the card just there. Um, I'm going to put them on some foam tape. Okay, and I'm actually going to put some glue on the foam tape as well. But I want it to stay down. I'm going to because I'm going to be tucking some laces behind there. Okay, now let me get my laces back out. My little bag of goodies. See what we've got so I can just snip away. For them. And let's get some soft lace. So see any of the chat so I do apologize if you think I'm ignoring you in a minute um I will go back to the chat because I can see that like the screen's going up I can't actually see what's being said at the minute <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you, Didi. Love the teacup. Thank you, Dawn. I'm going to pop that just there. And I'm just going to pop it. I'm going to pop some soft lace because I've got some, um, I don't know whether you can see it on the screen, but I brought some yellow um, lace out. And I'm going to pop that just underneath there. Oh gosh, is that enough glue? There was. Right. Okay. And this might need a little bit of foam tape this bird because otherwise it's going to come undone. So. them at the moment and I'm going to take some of this yellow lace and 
icon, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it, just peek in underneath. And I'm going to put another one so down the bottom. So there's my um, teacup at the moment. Right, I'm going to go on the inside of my card to open this out. And you know these pieces that I had sort of got the beside your tape on. I'm just going to fold them. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to take this one off. And I'm going to put that one there. So when you fold it, you'll see them a bit like tabs. And then on this page, what I did on this page was I cut another piece out and then I gathered it up with some bling. Well done. Got, uh, not as well as the master. Oh, bless Ange. Did you manage to debarge, honey? How are you? Gorgeous. Thank you, ladies. Angie's got to show us on video now, ladies. I think she's got to, because she told you all about it. She's definitely got to show hers on video. And I'm going to cut, because I've used the same flower on the inside of the card. I need to stick my glue gun on, actually, because... Some butterfly here you all said about. stick that there because I've got some pearls and I'm not sure about the butterflies the only reason for that is I'm going to move these things out of my way a minute so I know where my now I've got two bags somewhere right let me stick my glue gun on Obviously, it's just something. Right. Move these. Right, my glue gun's on. No, I should have two bags somewhere. In here. Are some little bits of hmm, it's gonna bother me. Where's my are some little gemstones? So I don't know whether I can. Hmm, haha, <laughs> these ones I can. So, twist. Um, no, would I be better off using them as is? Let me see if I've got a longer piece. Go there. Right, 
actually going to cut that off. This is just jewellery that I got given to cut up, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be cutting it up. And I just think I need to find... sure about that piece the only reason is is because I've got um I've got some bits and pieces I want to put on going quiet because I'm trying to concentrate I didn't think I would ever do it but I have done a few videos now or being I keep I do you know what I'm gonna tonight I keep saying I keep gonna go over to your channel and I truly this week's been just going so fast and I really want to support you. I think I am subscribed to you, honey. Um, honey. Honey, honey, honey. But I keep genuinely forgetting to go over and see what you're doing and what you are, um, what, how you're doing, basically. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a point of doing it tonight because... I'm getting fed up with myself. I lost my tail. Sometimes waiting for me to go and pull them up. Jeez, what can I do in my tail then? Ah! Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go over tonight and I'm going to watch some of your videos. I'm going to make a point of doing it because I'm getting fed up. I'm not, I'm not remembering and Time is going so fast, and oh, it just is. And I, I do apologise. I, sh I should be able to sort of do it and say it and mean what I'm saying, but I do apologise for not doing it. I will do it tonight because I really want to see what you've been up to. Right, so this piece, I'm going to put on some double sided tape. One, oops, two, so I really want it to stick down, what am I going to have, I think I should have it that way, right, and then I've got some of these gemstones, Oh god, I try again. Here's one. Please subscribe up to each other as well. There's so much inspiration on YouTube and it's not it's such a, a big place and there's you'll find loads of inspiration and i'm uh, like i've been watching i tell you what i've been recently watching you think oh Claire, what are you up to now <laughs> i've been watching spray painting um i don't know why it's just really inspiring me at the moment i think i was getting the right mess if i did it <laughs> but um it's really inspiring to watch other people do it. Do you know what, what I'm trying to say? <coughs> I put three gems down there. I'm going to move that out of the way. Got my glue gun on. Right. 
going to sit and watch before I go to bed tonight, Miss Marianne. And then once I get, I'm going to sort your package out for myself to, on this weekend. And then I'll drop it off. Um, I'll let you know when I drop it coming. Right, so this is nearly finished now. I've nearly finished it. So what I'm going to do, just to finish this off, I've got some small, small, tiny gemstones. Now I like to put, I don't like to use the sticky back on the, the gemstones. I always like to use a bit of glue. Because I find that if you use the sticky back on the gemstones, they don't stick as well as if you were to use glue. I don't know why this is. So I'm just dabbing in my paintbrush, which is on our piece of cardboard at the moment. And I want to put one more, I think, just there. And then down the bottom here, because I've got some going on up there, I'm going to put three, come on, one there. Wash one there. And I'm going to put another one on that side. And I'm going to put two on that little one. And then I'm going to work what's on the bottom then. But I'm not putting a lot on the bottom. Like I say, you can write... This type of card, you can write anywhere. Right, on the bottom. I don't want to put a lot on the bottom. So, in that little book of mine that I've just put away on an empty there is a page in here that has got this on right and I am going to use that page and I'm going to cut out oh I don't know which ones to cut out I think I'm going to cut those two red ones out so they're sort of like stickers, but they're not, if that makes sense. This one. Try it without the leaves. That's better. Uh, let's try this pink one. Yeah, it needs a pink one, doesn't it? The little red. What was I thinking? glue these down i'm not going to use double sided tape or anything like that I'm literally just going to put a little bit of glue on them and that is my card finished i love the card so okay look at thank you mrs g you're using such pretty papers tonight thank you dawn um then click back on click <laughs> don't forget to give Claire a big thumbs up to oh my word oh thank you uh, Rianne click on the image of the person commenting it will take you to their channel yes it will so you see on the chat there's all the comments on this set or oh, it might be on the left or right I can't remember but on the chat you've got the comments and on the right hand side you've got like little circles 
if you click on the circles it will take you directly to their page and then you'll be able to click the subscribe button and please don't forget to hit that little bell as well because you'll always get a notification when they come through and the other thing is um don't think that you've got to subscribe and you've got to watch them every every time youtube like i keep saying is such a big place and if i could watch everybody every week um i just life gets in the way um i'd love to watch you all all the time life gets in the way so much but i'm unable to um but i do try and like um go down my list of subscribers and click on some people um one week and then switch and swap it that way to keep up with what everybody's doing this is why i'm so late with what you're all up to but um i'll definitely go over to your channel Rian, and see what you are doing we'll definitely want to see that tonight we'll be watching it before i go to bed thank you all for all the lovely comments um, i'm going to show you it closed now so it closed no where am i going and I forget more ways closing. That should have been that way. I can't take it off. Can I not take it off? Yeah, that should have been <coughs> that way there. Yeah, that's what it should have been. <laughs> Clicked on the ring. Right, so this is my card. It's all in blue, as you can see, and I love your choice of the teacup. It really stands out. And I see, can you see how you on your ink when you ink on your ink your card? And to show you that would fit in a normal envelope, I buy them in packs like this, and it goes in a normal envelope because it's obviously smaller than the card that they put in. It will go in. I should put it right in this thing. I haven't cut any length. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. It does go in. Oh, perhaps not then. How on earth has that happened? Or does it go in? Remove this. It should fit snug fit right in. Haha, -ha. it does. A little bit of a push, but it does fit snug right in. No, I'm not gonna risk it. No, it doesn't. Asuka and the other one did fit in. Only my luck that one has to happen live. <laughs> You need to bigger envelope. <laughs> um, so anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm calling these booklets cards. I haven't seen cards made like these before. Um, I've seen like I showed you the ones I saw, but I've never seen like a, a card made in the shape of a book. And you would tie it as of so. right and then that would go like that they would unhook it and then they'd have all glorious things inside so you really need to do it you need to see the tiny peter rabbit daily book i made for oh wow debbie oh wow i bet that's amazing i i do you know what i'm really looking forward to doing one of these in beatrix potter um because i think that would be amazing too hi thank you jillian thank you dawn marie good i'm glad dean i'm glad i've inspired you um i mean that was one of the cards i made this week the other card i made was this one and this has got a window effect um and it's just a normal card with a window in but i haven't quite finished this one which is why i haven't done a live or a video on how to make it but um these are quite good and quite quite good for Christmas as well because you can use these for Christmas, two of them. But a handmade card goes a long way. And um, they, so these cards are super quick and easy to make. 
the effects of them are absolutely amazing and you could sit all day and make one of these cards and you'd never get tired and they're both exactly the same size as well and um, so i'll show you this one again opens up like that and then this one opens up like that so i like them both i do like them both but this one see i put 2d foam tape with that one i didn't i glued straight down so decide on what you want to do and what you want to pick up it's a gorgeous i want to try oh thank you guys gorgeous give it a go dd nothing to lose definitely nothing to lose so subscribe to each other thank you for all the thumbs up how amazing is that first of all um i don't know how many thumbs up i can see because oh it's giving me eight so thank you so much for all your lovely comments thank you everybody for sticking with me tonight um like i say i will be back next week i don't know what i'm doing as always it's always a bit of a little bit of a surprise for you all but i really hope you enjoyed tonight's live and i will be back next week have a lovely rest of the week hi laurel um and have a lovely rest of the weekend have a lovely rest of the week and i hope to catch up with you um next friday if not catch up with you in my group and i will catch up with you then take care bye for now bye